pumpkin versus an orange, which is gonna drop. <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to Austinist TV, the coolest channel in the street. Oh gosh, freaking helicopter in the background. Holding for helicopter. Yes, holding for helicopter. Anyways, I am back with another video and with a new camera. This camera is awesome. It has a wind resistant mic on the top. Super cool. There's going to be no wind in my videos. Yay, can we get a yay? Yay! Today we're going to be testing um, what things fall at like a different rate, like a heavy object and a light object falling at a like different speeds or at the same speed. So yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. And now that I have two cameras, two different angles. But I have one SD card, so I have to go find another SD card for the other camera. Hmm. SD card. Okay. One more thing that I'm realizing, um, I need a tripod for that camera because I only have one tripod. So, there, there's my new camera. Super cool, right? I'm using Snapchat to do this, but yeah. Wind resistant mic at the top, super cool. And then there's my tripod and stuff. Yeah. It is time to drop stuff off of this ledge. I think it's about nine feet. Dad, how tall do you think it is from up here? Actually not, I was from thinking down the there. Top? Yeah, from the top. Cause that's 10 feet. 10 feet, so 12 feet. 12 feet high drop, 12 foot high drop. 12 foot high drop. We're gonna drop stuff off this, it's gonna be cool. We're going to see if it's true that like different weighted things can drop at the same time. So we're going to do small things, big things, heavy things, light things. So this is super light and this is super heavy. So we're going to test it out. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. They were exact. Okay, let's try something else now. All right. Okay. Tennis ball and a ping pong ball. Look alike ping pong ball. It's like one of those really small wiffle balls. I couldn't find a ping pong ball. All right, well, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. I wonder if an orange falls differently. There. I just picked an orange off my tree. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna be testing out an orange and a tennis ball. Same size, different weights. Well, the tennis ball bounces, and uh, the orange just just sat there. But they did drop at the same time, which is pretty insane. So now we're gonna get this wiffle ball, aka look-alike ping pong ball, and this basketball, and we're gonna see if they drop at different times, because one weighs way more than the other, and one's way bigger than the other. Okay, three, two, one. They landed at the same time. Now I'm gonna do a paper ball and a volleyball. So this one's definitely gonna drop slower than this one because it's rough and it's gonna have wind resistance. Ready? All right, I'm gonna try this out. Three, two, one. Yeah, so the paper fell a lot slower than the volleyball. Okay, so the second to last thing we are dropping now is gonna be a paper ball and Oh, dang it. And a leaf. So I, I don't know what's gonna happen. This could fall in a different pattern and this is gonna be slow anyway. So science is going to act on these two objects. All right, three, two, one. Okay, the leaves fell a lot slower. Okay, final boss. A pumpkin and an orange. This is probably gonna splatter into a million pieces, but pumpkin versus an orange, which is gonna drop faster. Here we go. Three, two, one. 
Well, they dropped at the same speed, but that went... <laughs> it broke into three pieces and then just a ton of seeds everywhere. Oh, there's <laughs> so many seeds. But look at it, it just split like into a piece. That's insane. I should say, I thought this was going to be a lot more. Don't do that. That's making more for us to try to clean up. Oh, it smells like pumpkin. And then the orange just gets a tiny little crack in it. Okay, we're probably going to leave this out for the raccoons and see if they want to take like a. Oh my gosh! Like a bite out of that. It's like all dry inside too because. Halloween was a while ago. So if you don't really know how that happened or what led, okay, I don't, I don't know what to say. Anyways, the science of what just happened. So I'm gonna bring in Science Austin. Three, two, one. Okay, now that I'm in my science clothes, I can explain the science of all this. So mass does not affect the acceleration due to gravity in any measurable way. The two quantities are independent of one another. Light objects accelerate more slowly than heavy objects only when forces other than gravity also at work. When this happens, an object may be falling, but it is not in free fall. There you go. Back to you, regular Austin. Back. And that is the end of the vlog. Thank you guys for watching the vlog. If you haven't already subscribed by now, you need to subscribe. I'm going to do that thing where I hit the subscribe button again. You ready for this? Subscribe button. Boom. It's coming down, bam! See that? Perfectly timed. I threw it up in the air. It came down, I went bam! I hit it out of the air. Out. All right guys, thanks for watching Austin is TV. If you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button. And when you click the subscribe button, a little bell pops up right next to it. You should click that, that's the notification button. Also, fun fact about the subscribe button, when you click it, it makes you live forever. Guaranteed, not even joking about this makes you live forever. Anyways, out!